Breaking Down Cuts 2. Alright. Alright. A lot of people thinking what I'm saying is a bunch of bullcrap. No. Let me show you something. There's a scar. You see that scar? That scar is where I was cut a long time ago. Ten inches deep. Well, ten inches wide. Two inches deep. If I didn't make it in the hospital in time, doctor said, the doctor said I could have died because of the blood loss. When you're in a real fight and you hit somebody across the artery like that, he said it's just lucky it was just tissue. He said it's lucky it was just tissue. And if it was savored the main artery. I would have bled to death. So, I know where to hit at. And how hard to hit it at. When you're in an actual real knife fight, you go on, you go to places of the human body that has blood flow. Alright, that's why you hit the arm. When they come by you, snap, cut. Come by has the other way, snap, cut. Alright. That will just slow down the enemy, yes. It will slow down the enemy. But also will create a blood loss. Two minutes in a fight. I don't think that person will last very long. Alright. Usually a knife fight should only last about a couple of seconds. But it's good to shadow box. It's good to do that. It's also good to do other things like Similize attacks. That's why you use a training knife. You don't want to use this in training. Alright. Now. Cutting drug veins this way or this way you hit come up hit come up hit come up hit come up right there drug vein across the blade itself Certain knife fighters don't know that. True. It's like it's like the downstroke, but you go up. It tears a lot more than the downstroke because it does it differently. And as you see on this camera where I'm doing the strikes, they're constant X strikes. Right on the corners of each of the screen.
you make a V cut. Now, the other one, the come around, lift your arms up, cut, cut, stab. It is a knife fighting skill. Plain and simple. It is a knife fighting skill. Hitting with the butt of a knife is also a fighting knife skill. A lot of people never thought about hitting with the butt of the knife. Come in, block, hit, up, so what you do, you just scrape across, grab the arm, hit, in the rib cage, and you come on the back, you come in, wham twist come up that way hit here you twist and you cut all the way straight up not always in the same angle but if you get fishing with it enough it will come out in the same angle and also slip through here you become efficient really good with it I'll use only about, let me see, about like eighth of the skill through knife fight. That's all you need is eighth. Just eight strikes. Any more strikes, it just becomes too latent of attack. certain type of knife fight where the dude actually kicks you in the balls you come up stab this side and stab this side of the leg once you stab that part of the leg near the arteries on the inside of the leg they will going to bend down and then you just or come up and slit their throat. I learned that from a person who was in the military. Ex-Marine, and they know how to fight my fights. But it's also good to learn it from Jiu Jitsu too, because Jiu Jitsu has almost the same type of knife fighting when it's from ground up. Exactly the same thing. But most of my knife fighting skills is Jiu Jitsu. practice either with a wooden or rubber this is not rubber this is plastic or shadow box only with plastic knives yeah this is a lettuce cutter so what at least I'm a genius to find out what my training option weapons are well, I could have gone with a flimsy rubber one. A really flimsy rubber one. I mean, even if you hold it straight like that, the blade will go... <laughs> you couldn't fight with that. I 
Uh, well, anyways, rubber knives are okay. Plastic knives are okay. But when you're in a real fight, use one. A real one. Don't know what else to talk about. Except for there will be more stuff on uh, my channel. More of the Kamais. Uh, I think next Kamai should be... Let me check here. Um, Ish... Yeah. Ish no... No, no, not Ish. Mm. Yeah, it's ish no kamai. Ugh. Some of these words are really tougher. And then after that one is doko no kamai. Hichi no kamai. Uh, hoko no kamai. Kuso no kamai. Jumanji no kamai, and that's the one like this. Or, like this. But it's not really together, because you can have to rotate it once in a while. Um, then, Fusa no kamai, which is a sitting kamai. It's a unmovable. Kamai. And that should do with all 12 Kamais. See? All 12 Kamais. All 12 Kamais. And then I got the 16 fists to do. Which that is consistence of a lot of. A lot of them. It's like nearly 15 of those. Or nearly 16 of those anyways. They are 16 of those. But. I don't consider a bowel a 16 fist. But. Okay. But the thing is, the training is consistent, it's going on, it's going to keep going on, and keep going on, until I get where I used to be at, on the other channel. <sighs> it is hard. But, at least you know where I stand and cutting. And stuff. See you later.